Hey guys, so hopefully you can hear me okay. I don't have my microphone on me today because I think I left it at the studio. Uh, but I still wanted to do this video because if I keep putting it off, I will never do videos for you guys. Um, so I just have to get out of my head of videos have to be perfect. Um, so I, I'm just going to go ahead and roll with it. Um, excuse all the stuff in the background. You don't even know my floor on my studio is horrendous because I'm doing my taxes and stuff. Um, but that's never, no here or there. I just haven't gotten around to decorating my office yet. So, um, so today I want to talk to you guys about one tip that I would give any person that would make your photos better. This could be for anybody. It doesn't have to be for a professional photographer. It could be you, the mom that wants to take really good pictures of your kids, or you know, you just want to take nice photos of your family photos, and you can just take them on your iPhone or even on a camera um, or any camera. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be. Um, a professional grade camera um, and it is oh my son is awake hey Chad <laughs> um, we're just gonna keep rolling okay um, and it is about chasing light so today is my son's third birthday and I like to take photos of them every year just kind of document um, what they're doing at this stage and just you know just kind of remember them um, growing up and I really had this idea in my head that I want to take photos in his room because this is the first year that he's ever had a room that's fully decorated um, and we've written here so we're not going to have this room forever so I just thought you know what would be really great to take photos in there so we have memories of this room that he had um, because you know you never know when he gets older he might change his interests and stuff like that. And it's raining in Sacramento. It's going to be raining all day. Um, and I just didn't anticipate that. Usually his room has really great light in there. And so when I went into this room earlier today, it was dark. And I didn't love the way the photos turned out. So what happened was I had to get that out of my head and start chasing the light. So basically looking for good light so that way your photos turn out um, really great um, and illuminate the subject correctly. So this happened to me a lot when I used to shoot weddings. Um, you know, we would be shooting the bride and groom somewhere, or shooting the bridal party somewhere, and a family member would come up and say, why are you shooting them there? Um, the backdrop over there is so much prettier. And that could necessarily be true. There could be a better looking backdrop. Um, and in your head, you know, it would make sense that it, you should take photos there. The thing is that the light might not be really pretty there. Um, and um, you always should look for pretty light um, and then background secondary. So I'll give you an example, okay? So from my photos earlier, okay? So this is what I started off with. You guys can see here. You know, so it's okay. I, I lit him correctly and everything like that, and I, I pointed him towards the window. But you can see there's a lot of shadows, you know. It's not like the best portraits of him, okay? And so then basically what happened was like, okay, now I needed to start changing my location and looking for pretty light. Um, so then what I did was I went downstairs to the office and I started taking pictures of my daughter. Okay, because my, I was looking around and my husband's office was just so much more, um, had so much more light in there. I started her off, her off on one wall and she was having a lot of shadows on her face. Oh, yeah, there you go. And um, it wasn't good, so I just turned her to a different wall. And now the light's just so much prettier, you see? So here's the thing, the portraits of her started looking out, looking really nice. Um, and even though it's just a plain wall, not a really, you know, awesome backdrop or anything like that, but the focus is on her, the portrait's on her, and it's beautiful photos of her, and that's what you want, you know, because you're doing a portrait, not a landscape photo, right? Um, and so then, I incorporated my son into those photos, and the light just wasn't really pretty on him, because she was just casting a shadow on him. And then if I turned them, then I would see the door and stuff. So then what I did was, oops, oh, can you see it? Okay, so then what I did was I take the, took them into the living room to get prettier light on them. Some of these are not. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay. And then, um, so then after that, you know, that right there wasn't the prettiest backdrop, right? Because it was like behind a couch. But the thing is, you want to just keep it simple because then you can just take it into Photoshop or whatever and just edit out, you know, the lines and stuff that makes it really easy. Try not to keep your backdrops really busy because then it's really hard to edit them out. So then I was like, okay. So I then I was going to, the only other place that I could take them was right outside of my porch, which was uh, covered because it's raining outside, right? Um, it's really sucks because across the street we have like really great like fields and stuff that I could have took pictures of them at, but it was raining today. So then what I did was I just took them outside to my porch. Yeah. 
and then the photos just turned out beautiful. Okay, and the backdrops are very simple. Like, you know, you could see there's like a pipe in the back, but you see how beautiful the light is on her, and just how how different the these photos are compared to some of the other ones that you just saw, right? Okay, um, you know, and like, a, and just keeping the backdrop simple, I could just easily edit out those like that that pipe right there. No, and you don't even have to edit out the part. The photos and stuff are really beautiful anyway. So that was just my tip for today to just kind of chase the light and make sure that you just find a nice lighted place and just don't worry too much about the background so much, but worry about more about illuminating your subject. Um, and you don't even need a lot of space to cut, to photograph something like that. Um, my other thing I wanted to remind you guys of is that uh, one of my best friends just lost her brother um, and she is looking for really good photos of him so she just asked me to photoshop one of his photos because she, in her words she said that she had no nice photos of him. So I just want to remind you guys, you know, take the time and the money to, you know, purchase a, a photographer to take photos of you, you know. it. I, 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 just, I hear this all the time because I'm a photographer obviously, you know, oh that's out of my budget, I don't have the money for it, you know, but in the end, it's so worth it. You know, if you look back at all the things that you spend your money on, um, that in itself um, really is worth it in the end, you know, because um, it's a lot of great memories there and, um, you know, your children and, you know, your friends and your family deserve really good photos of you. Okay, uh, so that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.